So, are we now close to needing 32 gigabytes of RAM? For a few years now, the gold standard has been 16 gigabytes, before that, 8 gigabytes, and who can remember even before that, needing only 4, 2, or even less? But now, should you really be rushing out to buy a new 32 gigabyte kit just to game? The good news is though, that if you do, unlike poor Homelander there, DDR4 is as affordable as it's ever been before, and DDR5 prices have come down considerably as well. In fact, I've got a few picked out in the description below. So to see if we actually need more RAM, I'm going to be using two identical kits of Corsair Vengeance Low Profile DDR4 3600MHz RAM, and of course that's going to be in a 16GB kit and 32GB kit. Of course they're both in dual channel. I'll be testing these in some of the latest games released, and so, let's get to it. These rocks have seen better days. Now that we have the results, what do you think? Here's a graph of the total frames rendered throughout those six games, and of course that result is a little bit skewed by the Hogwarts Legacy results, just because that was probably the biggest difference that we saw. I mean, 76 average in uh, with 32 gigabytes, and then 45, I think it was, uh, with 16, and also the 1% and 0.1% lows also showed quite a big difference as well. I would say that the main difference between the two amount of RAMs is probably the 0.1% lows. I think the 32 gigabytes definitely gave us a bit more of a less stuttery game, even though the averages, if you take out Hogwarts Legacy, were pr pretty much the exact same and the 1% lows. The 0.1% lows were still a bit higher on the 32 gigabyte kit, so it would give you a little bit more of a, of a stuttery less game if that makes sense. Um, a bit more of a smoother gameplay experience really but the game I noticed using the most RAM was definitely Hogwarts Legacy. When I had the 32 gigabytes installed it was using around 22, 23 gigs of that so that does make sense as to why the results were that different with the 16 and 32 gigabyte kit. Also in Starfield um, there was a little bit where it was going above 16 gigs when I had the 32 gigabytes installed. It was hitting around six high 16, 17 gigabytes of usage. And there was a slight difference in the performance results from there, slightly above what I would say margin of error. Also in Starfield, the 0.1% and 1% lows were so low because uh, in Starfield there's a loading screen every 25 seconds pretty much. And then finally, Immortals of Avium also used a little bit more than 16 gigabytes of RAM and that probably explains the 0.1% lows being a lot higher on the 32 gigabyte kit. 
So in the end, what do you think um, about these two kits? Do you think it's time to upgrade to a 32 gigabyte kit of RAM? Or do you think you can hold off for another little bit? Personally, I still think that 16 gigabytes is still just about the sweet spot. Uh, but I think in the next year or two, 32 gigabytes will start to become that new sweet spot. But um, yeah, that's gonna be all from me. If you like the video, maybe drop a like, I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new and you liked it, then do maybe consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for when new videos come out. That's gonna be all from me, bye.